This is a semi-wild part of the garden, which is dominated by these fantastic balsam poplars. One which we lost very recently. They give off the most beautiful scent in spring. And beneath them here are uh, orchids. Hence the sticks to show where they are. They're hellebore. And why are orchids important or interesting? Oh, they're just extraordinary plants. These are not spectacular. These are mainly green and a mauvey brown in, when in flower. But they're very magical, as is the plant that grows here, <coughs> which is toothwort. In early spring, the most amazing thing happens. These little white things that look just like teeth and pink around them like gums appear magically out of the ground. They, they are a parasite, lives on um, dead elm and hazel, I think, and they appear, just come out of the ground, and people believed that perhaps a body was buried there, so it was called the corpse flower but it was also called toothwork because it looked like teeth. And in the doctrine of signatures, um, anything that looked like something they thought was a cure for that ailment, toothache or whatever. There's a very special thing here. <clears throat> The first snowdrop shoots showing. Wow. I mean, they won't flower for a while yet, but it's always so hopeful to see these spring flowers, known as the flower of hope, appear even now, even though it's still autumn and spring winter. And this will be a mass of them in spring. Mm. 